CData Sync provides automated continuous replication of your enterprise data to any data store, enabling comprehensive views into your data and empowering deeper, more actionable insights. In this video, we show how to customize and schedule a replication job. If you haven't already, go back and watch our previous video on licensing CData Sync and creating connections and replication jobs. We start with a previously created replication job. Click to open the job. This job is configured to replicate every table. We'll focus on one table, so we can click to remove all but one table from the replication job. If we click into that replication job, we can explore the available task settings. Notice that the account table for Salesforce has a predefined incremental check column, which is used to determine which records have changed and therefore need to be replicated since the last time the job ran. For other sources and tables, this value is customizable. We can also specify the table name in our destination, creating a new table or selecting an existing one. On the column mapping tab, we can select which columns to include or exclude from our replication job. If we are replicating to an existing table, we can map our source columns to the corresponding destination columns. On the preview tab, we can preview the data to be replicated based on the changes we made to the task. Click OK to save the changes to our task. Back on the job page, navigate to the schedule tab to configure a replication schedule for our job. Click to enable the scheduler and select the replication interval. Click save changes to return to the jobs overview page. And that's everything you need to know to customize a replication job in CData Sync. To get more information about CData Sync or to get started with a free trial, visit cdata.com/sync. Thanks for watching, and as always, you can find more resources at cdata.com.